Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back there, Daily Crypto News and Analysis. And today, we are going to be talking more so about Alchemy Pay, aka ACH, as you guys are probably all aware of. And before we fully jump on into this video, I just want to ask you guys to please leave a like on this video. It does help the channel grow immensely. And of course, I do always appreciate it. Also, if you guys do find any information in this video useful, valuable, whatever it is, you know, definitely consider subscribing and turning notifications on as I also greatly appreciate that. Now, overall, in terms of Bitcoin, we've been talking about Bitcoin for a very long time. Uh, my targets are still there. 37.5K if we do retest a bottom swoop or if we do go back, um, you know, to bullish levels, it's like 53.5K. Now, with Alchemy Pay, as you guys are probably all aware of, you know, raise your hand if you are, you know, very frustrated with the price action. OK, that was a little bit of a rhetorical you know, statement. You don't have to raise your hand, but I'm just saying in general for Alchemy Pay, you know, yeah, it was a little bit disappointing with the Binance listing, but I don't believe that the Binance listing was specifically for price appreciation. I actually think that the Binance listing was to help incur Alchemy Pay to get to new partners, get to new you know, use cases and focus more so on growth than price action alone. Of course, you all have your own opinions, but that's basically my opinion on that. We are still seeing the holders tab accumulating more and more. You guys could really kind of see it on the three month span. Here you guys have it. It's been, you know, in a nice accumulation in total, in total addresses. Sorry. Um, and I believe that this is going to continue to grow and grow and grow. And of course, volume is down significantly since the Binance listing. We could actually kind of check that. First off, we're going to be addressing the Alchemy Pay uh, Bitcoin price chart. So. As you guys do see, volume is diminishing still. Uh, not that great in terms of volume anyways right now. Uh, RSI still looks pretty rough. We still need to break over this 18,811 sat level for us to actually get above resistance. And we really want to be back to the August time frame of Alchemy Pay in terms of the Bitcoin price chart, like basically right here at about 48,000 uh, in terms of, you know, RS, uh, not RSI, in terms of sat, sorry. Um, because this is actually where the all-time high for Alchemy Pay actually was. So that's really where I'm watching it, specifically on the you know Bitcoin price chart. Of course, it's still fairly weak. But for the USD pair, as you guys are probably all aware, yes, we did hit $0.08 cents for resistance levels, as you guys do see here. And now we're pretty much back into that accumulation zone between the 702 and the 618 chop zone. I know it sucks, but we still see diminished volume. It's not looking too good in terms of volume anyways. RSI looks a little bit rough on the, of course, micro viewpoints because I was more so looking at the macro views there. You know, we're still kind of in that situation. Terrible volume. You know, it, it is what it is. And we're still in the chop zone. There's the two hour price chart and even the one hour price chart. So still diminished volume ever since the day that it got listed on Binance. But overall, we are still in this nice accumulation zone, which does allow us to accumulate more. So when we do break above eight cents, find support there and continue higher, then we will pretty much bask in the glory that is, of course, Alchemy Pay. Now, I do want to focus to you guys or I want to push focus to you guys on things that are being built behind the scenes with Alchemy Pay, specifically this Onus, you know, announcement from Onus Finance. They are a 90,000 followed overall app. This is actually not an exchange. I know that it says that you could exchange. It's not. Um, but we do know that Alchemy Pay is now on it. Um, but this is more so of an app to store, exchange, stake and earn free crypto. They do have 1.8 million users overall. So this is actually pretty big. Big. And of course, we do see that it is now available on Onus in terms of ACH. And of course, we do see trading pair ACH to USDT or VNDC on Onus. Alchemy Pay is having a 50,000 ACH reward pool for Onus. We also see this as well in terms of some big exchanges. MEXC is a huge exchange, almost 400,000 followers. In terms of the exchange listings, let's actually go here and go and type in MEXC. So we do see that we're at number 26 in terms of MEXC, 300 and almost $87 million in volume, 1.5 million weekly visits. So it's a fairly large exchange. And of course, we do see Alchemy Pay pretty much partnering with one of them, right? Partnering with one of the world's biggest exchange, Mexi, to provide flexible on and off ramps for their customers in Japan, Korea, and Indonesia onwards and upwards. If we actually go check this out, 
uh, you know, you can pretty much see, you know, this is the gateway provider, aka Alchemy Pay, to provide multi pay in and pay out methods for users in Japan, Korea, and Indonesia. Among other things, the partnership will allow Indonesian users to withdraw funds to bank accounts and will enable the depositing of funds via Visa and MasterCard in Japan and Korea. So, this is actually fairly huge and we even see down here Mexi's expansion in Asia is now faster than ever and we're happy to have Alchemy Pay and more reliable partners help us offer seamless user experience in local markets. Uh, Alchemy Pay's flagship product still remains its hybrid crypto fiat payment system which allows merchant partners to accept popular cryptocurrencies in offline and offline payments at a low cost with near instant um, you know, instant conversion to the merchant's local fiat currency. So again, we're still seeing the value being, you know, shown and, you know, it, it's it's one of those things where we're still seeing a lot more development, a lot of partnerships, a lot of updates, but not a lot of price appreciation, similar to what I've said multiple times on this channel about Matic. You know, again, we will see that day where Alchemy Pay does skyrocket through resistance levels, gets a lot of volume in it, gets a lot of demand in it, and that's when we will see those nice all-time highs being targeted once again. We also see this from Alchemy Pay. Of course, I'm going to save you guys me trying to even pronounce any of this in a different language. But of course, Toko Crypto, number one crypto exchange in Indonesia. I do not know Indonesian, so I'm not going to even try to you know pronounce any of this. I don't know if Toko Crypto is actually even listed on here, but we could go check it out. So actually it is number 31. Uh, $34 million in volume, which is not much, but we do see the weekly average visits are about 352,000. And of course, in terms of the amounts of followers, like I said, almost 360,000 plus followers and Alchemy Pay is being listed on it. So this is actually pretty huge on the number one exchange in Indonesia, I mind you. Um, also, I feel like I need to be transparent a little bit. I'm not being paid at Alchemy Pay at all to talk about these updates. I'm just saying um, I believe in Alchemy Pay's overall use cases and where they will be eventually. We also see here excited to partner with Connectum, a one-stop payment service known for its implementation of innovation or innovative, sorry, security features. This is actually a pretty big uh, company, actually. We do see here global payment processing for each client, acquiring and, pay and payment services. We do see principal members, uh, Visa, even MasterCard, UnionPay, MIR. Uh, and you can pretty much read all about this personal account manager, high security system, uptime as a service, experience borderless finance, receive payments worldwide, technical features. You can pretty much read all about this. Uh, it's pretty big. Uh, check if compatible with your existing CMS systems. And it pretty much is nice, uh, or I should say not nice, but, you know, functional with huge partners like WooCommerce, for an example, which is a huge e-commerce uh, area. Now, Again, one touch payment as well with Google Pay and even Apple Pay. So this is pretty big. And I think that when we're talking about some of these partnerships, you need to look at the statistics behind it. So this has been growing your business since 2014. 25 million plus satisfied buyers last year. 3,000 plus merchants cooperate with Connectum successfully. Customer funds are held by the central bank. So this is going to allow Alchemy Pay, okay, to be a massive connection to 3,000 plus merchants. Okay, we know that Alchemy Pay is already working with, you know, Shopify and Arcadia and stuff, but this is actually huge. I honestly think that this is going to be so big for Alchemy Pay. And this is pretty much, you know, a partnership technically with Visa Mascara, which we already know that Alchemy Pay is already partnered with them, I mind you. But again, you can pretty much read more about this company if you guys want to pretty much read all about their story, uh, pretty much who they are and all that kind of stuff. But in general, this is actually a fairly large company. And I think that this is great for Alchemy Pay. And like I said, its ecosystem is only expanding day by day by day. We also see here Alchemy Pay white paper. This is what I want to specifically talk about. So I don't want to talk about too much of this stuff besides this. So I actually want to open this up and show you guys this. So the reason why I'm, I'm bringing you guys this image here is because I want you to all understand that Alchemy Pay as an integration is all backend. You will not see Alchemy Pay uh, in general for a lot of things besides, you know, in terms of withdrawal and stuff like that. But Alchemy Pay is connecting with these major companies, like for an example, Connectum, as a backend integration. That means that Alchemy Pay is being utilized, but nobody really knows that they are utilizing Alchemy Pay. 
but there is so much more to this. I want you to all understand how huge Alchemy Pay is going to be as more and more you know, companies move into this space that want to have a hybrid crypto gateway. It's a plug and play, massive gateway. It's huge. And we also see the launch of Alchemy Pay at Zeb Pay. So this goes back to September 15th. You know, is the world's first payment gateway key to bridge the gap between crypto and fiat economies? They're talking more so about DeFi, blockchain solutions, all that kind of stuff. We even see like the prices and stuff of Alchemy Pay at the time of that. Uh, it's pretty big. But overall, what I want to talk to you guys about is how big Zeb Pay actually is. Let's actually look at that. So buy, sell crypto instantly available in 162 countries. ZedPay has served over 5 million plus users since our founding in 2014, processing $10 billion in transactions. This is pretty big. And you guys do see trade across 6 euro uh, crypto and 5 crypto crypto pairs. Uh, zero deposit fees, zero withdrawal fees, stress-free. Like this is so big as a company as well. And again, we look back in time and we know that Alchemy Pay is already launched on here it's pretty dang cool i think that this is so massive and i think that a lot of people really need to understand that when we're seeing stuff like this happening on a day-to-day -day basis and we even go back to november 1st where alchemy pay celebrated 150 enterprise and payment processing participants like this is this number is going to grow and grow and grow and grow and this number is going to be shadowed by such a massive number soon like Alchemy Pay is growing day by day, but the price still remains at this dead end chop zone between this nice accumulation of the 702 and 618. And I believe that we're going to still see this for a while, but I don't think it's going to last forever. And I think that when we're talking about how big Alchemy Pay is going to be, essentially, I think that we break through this resistance channel uh, as soon as we get back on track in this entire market, because we got to remember that we're still reliant on Bitcoin currently. So we have to watch Bitcoin uh, today with the weekly candle close. And of course, on Monday for, you know, the indice openings. So with that in mind, I hope that you all enjoyed this. If you guys did, definitely leave a uh, like, subscribe to notifications on. If you guys want more free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. As always, I hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are in this beautiful world. This has been Nick. Peace out, guys.